Z Kroger store in Coleraine Township back open tonight after a gunfight sent panic shoppers running for safety. And WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live for us outside of that store on Springdale Road with today's new developments, including how a bystander who was shot is doing. Todd, bring us up to date. Yeah, Megan and well, Megan and Mike, you know, in addition to the store reopening this afternoon at three o'clock, we now know that that bystander who got shot during yesterday's ordeal has been treated and released from a local hospital that happening late last night. The incident that led to the spray of bullets uh, started around four o'clock yesterday afternoon. That is when Colerain police officials say officers were involved in some kind of an investigation at the Kroger on Springdale Road. Police say a suspect ended up pointing a gun at officers outside the store before heading inside. Officers exchanged fire hitting the suspect who is expected to survive and as we've indicated another person a bystander was also hit by gunfire already being treated and released from the hospital as it all unfolded panic store workers and shoppers did whatever they could to stay safe there's been a shooting okay. many of us are hiding we don't know where the shooter is no 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 I, I don't know what he looks like we just heard shooting there's a bunch of us under in, in the uh, Okay, there's help coming your way, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah. You know, that woman there calling 911, you could tell how quiet she was trying to be during this ordeal, just hoping and praying that the shooter didn't head her way. Now, in a statement, Kroger officials expressed deep sadness about what happened here yesterday. They added that counseling is being provided to workers who are traumatized by the series of events. Uh, we should also note that Colerain police officials have asked state agents with BCI to come in and do an independent investigation to figure out exactly what happened and why. Reporting live tonight here in Colerain, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.